Hello guys, welcome to my channel Code Doctor. I am Saurav Saxena, working in the full stack developer at Booking.com. And in today's video, we are going to build a snake game. We not only build this game, but also try to understand the logic, what are the different components which led us to build this game. And also, in a bonus, we will try to understand few basic concepts of Python. So we'll try to use object-oriented programming while building this game such as we are going to use classes, constructors, methods and also we are going to import some external libraries and we are going to understand like how we can import and use some other packages in a python. So before further ado, first let's see the demo of the game. So you can see there is a snake and I can also pause the game. So when you press the space bar, the game used to get paused and resume. And you can also observe when the snake tried to eat the food. Okay, so I hit the wall. Instead of eating the food, I hit the wall and the game over. So the few, few, few basic observation, which is there is a snake which has a default length initially and there is a food which is placed randomly inside a board. So this board has some constraints. It has, it has a fixed width, it has a fixed height. So when, when the snake try to hit any of the wall, the game get over. And also when the snake try to eat the food, right and and if it successfully eat the food the score increases by one which is you can see at the top right so the score will keep updating based on the move of a snake right so whether the snake hit the wall the game gets over but if it eat the food the length of the snake will increase as well as the score of the user also one thing you keep in mind in the snake game when the length of snake increases, we are going to increase the speed by some factor, right? So this is, this makes the game interesting and really challenging for the user. So before getting into the actual implementation, I want to tell you about something called classes. So when you see a problem, so this is a real world problem, right? We want to build a snake game. So first thing we will keep in mind is we are going to have a snake game class right and so let's say we're going to create a class called snake game something like this right so any class will have a constructor so in python we define constructor like this okay now now you know we have created a class and a constructor. So what is the use of constructor? So constructor used to initialize the default uh, things associated with an object. So when we talk about the snake game, you can see there is a background music, which is keep playing, right? So playing the background music doesn't depend on a user action. It is a default property of the snake game. So that means, in the constructor, we have to play the background music. And also, you can see we have this window, or you can see this screen, which has the background color as a blue and the foreground color as a green. So we are going to paint, we are going to have this attributes in the constructor itself. And few observation, while I was playing the game, you have seen the snake used to move to the right. So we are going to set the direction to the right for the snake and the default is score initially is zero right so score is also one of the attribute which we're going to initialize in the constructor similarly we have the position of the snake right and also we have the food uh, position and then we're going to render the screen so this is what initially required for the constructor is so whenever you build anything specifically in a game 
or not only a game but also in any problem and you're trying to convert that problem into object oriented programming try to think first what are the attributes that initializes without even action of an object if i talk about let's say take an example of a vehicle right so when you say a car is a vehicle so when you create a class vehicle right so vehicle will have what are the default properties that vehicle vehicle going to have so if i'm talking about only four wheeler vehicle it will have the four wheels so four wheels are the default attributes so that is going to initialize in the constructor so same thing we have to follow here so let's define the constructor now so we have so this is the way we used to initialize the constructor now as i've mentioned like first thing we want to play a background music right if you see i have placed some sounds which is like background and eating so when the snake try to eat the food i want to play that one second video or one second audio sorry to it's eat to when snake try to eat the food right so these are different action eating right so when e snake eat the food i want to make sure this sound should play right so now talking about background how are we going to play the background music okay so we're going to use something called playground playground is an external package the way you want to install is using pip so you can do pip install playground that's all that's all is required to you install playground and you can import in your python file so 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 playground is one of the class which has a method called playground so there are two attributes we are going to pass the first is the location of the file so the location is this background.mp3 and we are going to pass the value as false because we want to play it in the background then we are going to use something called curses so this is one of the library which comes with python itself so when you install python 2.7 you will get the curses so what curses why we are using curses so curses is a library which is used to take the input from the keypad so keypad in a sense like say i want to play this game with the up arrow or down arrow left and right right so i'm taking input from keyboard and based on that i want to do some perform some operation or action on it so that's where the curses will help us so it used to build small games and also an interactive application so first thing is we're going to initialize the screen then there is a method called start color so the next step is to actually create a window right to actually create a window but before creating uh so you can see there are two things one is like you create a window size and then you we have some mark the boundaries right so we will create a separate method to mark the boundaries and first now let's set the color and also create a window so one more thing i want to tell you so this is in curses right so this is called y and this is called x right so down is x so if i say and instead of like uh, normal mathematics in coordinates we give like x comma y here we give y comma x so y is going down so if i say 10 so we are going down 10 down and then if i say 20 so 20 x so this is 10 comma 20 in curses in python so let me show you that then we will have curses dot init pair So we're gonna give some color like green. So green we're going to use for foreground and 
for background you're going to use blue okay and one thing you should see when i pass the attributes give the space for the this is for code clarity and a good and try to follow the good naming convention so please follow me along and i will be giving you few advices while writing this code the next step is we are going to create a class variable which is window so here i'm going to pass 20 50 0 0 so what does that mean this means like we are creating a window of 20 y that means 20 it will be a breadth or you sorry it will be 20 a length right so this is 20 this is 20 and this is 50 and it's starting from 0 and 0 so that is starting from here you can move also here if you want to make it a central window you can move it so next step is we in this window we want to take the input from keypad that is our keyboard okay the next step is we're gonna set the color so we're gonna set the background so there's a function called bk bkgd and in this so we don't want to uh, write anything in the background so that's why we are passing empty and then we want to do curses dot color pair one perfect now the next thing is very important is we're gonna have a variable called key which I'm gonna take the right direction right so we are going to import key right so we're going to have like key right key left and key down so this will make it as left and this we can make it as up and this let's say down right so this is like setting the position of the cursor, cursor like how it should move right so we're gonna say move it to the right default so once the game starts the snake will keep moving on the right side okay so next step is we are going to create a variable called score and initially the score is set to be zero now if you see the coding convention which i'm trying to follow is having all the library set of interaction at the top and then the variable which is related to the class and also i'm grouping so if you see the window you can group all together and then a key then score so then you have something called self dot snake so i want to give the position as like 4 10 and then 4 9 and uh, 4 8 now what does that mean and this is very important to know so if you see 4 10 so 4 is like here 4 and 10 is here 4 10 4 9 4 8 so that means there are three positions that we are going to take for the snake right similarly let's uh have another variable called food yeah. and you can give any initial initially we can give a coordinate 10 and 20 that means 10 down and 20 right so it will be somewhere here then what i want is to render the screen so i want to create a method inside this class which will be like def render screen okay so what this uh, render screen method does it try to create this it try to actually interpolate this boundaries so if you see we have this we have dot 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 and this so if you require you can just add this right it's not necessary to add this but uh but let's say we want to have this so this is very uh hard-coded 
stuff so you can just say self dot window dot add str so there is a method and we're going to start from 0 comma 0 that is in the last and you will be adding something like this hash 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 and then you say score right something like this and uh, after this you will say str self dot score right something like this you can give some space and say snake game and yes okay now so once we have this string so we have once we have actually interpolated this top string we can do something same for others now before that we can do one more thing is on the window we can add the character for the food which is on what coordinates self dot food of zero self dot food of one and you can give the character as this. right so this is how uh this food randomly will be placed so it will play something here 10 and 20. so 10 will be here 20 will be here so next step is we want to do we want to have some boundary interpolation on the left right and down so let's do this so there is no logic here just like you just iterate from up to down and just add the corrector or a string there that's it so instead of doing it for like each and every point it's better to do it using loops so once you're done with this method right the next is the important one which is the method which actually play the game right so let's say we're gonna name it as start right and how we're we gonna call this method so we'll be using something called object and with that object we're going to call the start method right so this is how we're going to call this method so when you create this class right when you create this object by calling the class you actually initializes all the defaults like say the background music the position of snake and the food and the window with the background and foreground color and also the defined width and the height and with some uh, interpolation of uh, boundaries now this is the main method which you really need to understand okay so first of all we want to play this game continuously until and unless uh, when somebody press escape key right so we're gonna add something called if the self dot key does not equals to 27 which is the key code of escape right we want to play this game so the first of all the first thing we want to do is to update the score so what we are trying to do here is we are going we are doing the same thing like we are going to update the header every time right for every action because the score will be keep changing right because when the snake try to eat the food the score will increment by one so we need to keep doing this repetition right so you can also uh, modularize this code much more like by creating a header function and just call the header okay. so you can just pass the score to it instead of uh, bringing this line here you can just say define uh, a method called render header in that header you just pass the score and you can just print this right. that is one of the more one of the optimization you can do so next step is so every time we want to increase the speed right so what is this uh, timeout method is see timeout is something uh, which is like it wants to it will wait for some specific milliseconds before executing the next 
instruction so whatever the line of code we have after this it will wait for some second now we want to decrease the waiting time right so if we want to decrease the waiting time that means we need to increase the factor by some length right so if this will increase this will decrease and the game and the snake will keep moving fast and that's what we want when the snake length is increases when it try to eat the food let's complicate stuff for the user that means increase the speed so we're gonna have some factor so which is let's say self dot snake of length and we will so this is just a simple mathematics nothing much so when so when the length of snake increases by some factor we want to uh, increase the speed right or let me decrease the timeout next step so there is a method let's say there is a key local this is local variable and we're gonna take self dot key okay because we want to know this previous key we want to store it uh, you will get to know like why we're storing it though now the next step is we need when somebody presses space bar we want to pause the game and until it hit another space again then we want to resume the game so how we can do that so we want to take an event right from the window using get character method now so important thing is we want to initialize the key right if the event is equals to equals to minus one let's say there is no event right in that case let it be the self dot key else we want it to be the event okay so now we're gonna have a check if somebody presses so here we will have event which is like the pressing the space bar so if it is equals to equals to order of space so order means like it will get the ascii value of the space bar so if the key code is equals to the space bar key code then we are going to do something so self dot key we are going to set minus one and then while self dot key does not equals to space what we are going to do is self dot so until uh, it is until so if it is not space right we are going to take the character and then we are going to perform so what we will update we will update this self so if it is if there is no key code like if you don't press any key it just paused right it will just keep looping in this while loop otherwise it will take the character if you press anything and it will get out of it and then you can initialize the self dot key equals to previous key right and you can continue now the next step is uh if so there is a validation you want to add so if you see the major keys involved in this game is up down left and right and the space bar and escape which is to exit from the game so if there is any key apart from this then the self dot key should be the previous key this is another validation so if the self dot key is in not in if it is not in that means you press let's say a then what will happen if your previous key was down your snake will keep going down it will not listen to a so that is the kind of validation so you so will say key right key left key down key up and also 27 that this is the key code so what you will do is you can now understand why we are using the previous key because to restore the value right if somebody presses another key you want to restore the previous key and that's what you want to do the next step is to update so when uh, so when you see the snake right when you press a key the snake head the head of the snake will change right if you're moving up so what will happen to the coordinates of the snake 
so let's see here so when your snake is let's say your snake head is here it goes up then x is constant but y is decreased because y is from here right so when you are going up you are decreased so similarly when you are going down right then what will happen you increased y so so this is like uh, so there is the snake uh, length so what you will do you will change the snake head to self dot snake of uh, you can use a method called insert insert at the position so it means the head now in this we're going to have self dot snake of zero and zero right and then you are gonna you're gonna perform this so what you will do is plus self let's close this self dot key if this is equals to equals to key down so when you're going down and you will take with one right so ultimately you are if you're going down you're increasing y by one if you're going down right you're increasing y by one which is y is the x actually the representation is here we represent y in x coordinate because that's what i told you 10 comma 20 is 10 comma 20 is 10 y and 20 x so you understand this right self dot key is equals to equals to key down and why we took the end with one that means we're incrementing by one next so we're gonna do that same thing for others but in different orders so if you see this one if it is up then we're going to do with minus one because when you go up if you're going up right so y coordinate decreases by one and y coordinate we represent on the first value so that's why we decrement this value by one then self dot snake of 0 1 so this is on the y coordinate now let's do an x coordinate similarly we can just copy paste this so if you press left so if you press left right what will happen so if you press left your value will decrease right so for the left it should become minus 1 and similarly let's copy this and we will do for the right so when you go right right so in that case it will increase by one so that's how so this is where you are updating the head of the snake and you you must be asking like why we are not uh, taking care of tail we will take care, taking care of tail in the last now once you move the head right the next thing because we are going step by step you increase the head now you need to check if the head is trying to hit the any of the wall that's where you want to exit from the game so this is very simple so you will do self dot snake of 0 comma 0 if it is hit let's say the left wall or we can just copy paste because there are four scenarios No. So this is zero comma zero if it hits down, and this is this should be zero comma one if it hits up, and zero comma one if it hits extreme right forty nine right. So what we want to do is, I want to play a sound. OS dot system. So OS the system OS is like one of the Python package which has. So this is. With the package this is a class like we are trying to call a method called system and we are passing some uh function name which is say and then we want to pass some attributes so let's say we'll say oh fuck so whenever your snake try to hit any of the wall we'll play a sound of saying oh fuck and then we're going to break the game and one more thing is like so when your head when the snake try to hit himself so it's of 
this is into like circled snake of this if if so this is like we're just checking the value in an, uh, a list if the snake hit himself then also we want to do the same we want to say oh fuck and we will exit from a game pretty simple right so now if you just observe step by step what we have done is when the snake so initially here this is for taking care of play and pause like resuming the game or pausing the game this is where we are trying to validate if you press any of the other key apart from the right left up and down and also space and escape and here we are trying to update the head of the snake in this code right and this part is basically if the snake hit any of the wall whether it is up down left or right and this is when the snake length become increased and it try to hit himself very simple code now the next is when when snake try to eat the food so this is where the coordinate becomes equals to the food right so in that case first of all you need to set the food to empty because you want to place the food randomly to the different place and you should increase the score by one right so now while while the self dot food is equals to equals to empty that means because we're trying to find the random uh coordinates so to do that we need to use something called a random library so we can say random from random we can import rent int okay and also we need to import os because we're using os dot system right perfect okay now here let's try to find the coordinate so we'll try to do the we'll try to find the random coordinates so self dot food equals to uh so we'll say rent int and we'll pass the range 1 to 18 for y because we we want to find in between 0 to 20 so let's assuming 1 to 18 and then rent int similarly for x from 1 to 48 now one more check you need to add because what happens sometimes you find the coordinate of food which is overlapping with the snake so that is not we should do so if it's happening then what you can do is self dot food should be becomes to empty again right then you again look for the random uh, coordinates once you find it right you can just place the food so you can use a method called add character and uh, you can self dot food of zero self dot food of one and you can place food there perfect right so once you place the food we want to play the sound also sound of eating so we can just copy paste this code and replace the background with eating okay perfect now else if we didn't eat the food right then here the code comes where we're going to find we're going to take the tail try to pop the tail so self dot snake dot pop right so we're going to pop the last uh which is our coordinates right which is like x and y we're going to pop that self dot window and we're going to set as uh, empty string there that means the tail right so let me explain you maybe if you have more doubt on this so let's say this is it right so when the next scene this should be like this right so we are adding a head we are removing a tail so that's what we are trying to do here so self dot window add character 
and it will be like self dot food or better is last of zero here and last of one we're going to set as empty very good and then self dot window this is for the head head character self dot snake of zero comma zero self dot snake zero comma one we are going to add this very good right so that's all i think so once the while ended one more thing is important is curses dot end win right so that means you are closing the window so that's all guys the logic behind to build this game so let's review it once again okay so so i have imported few libraries which i'm using it and we have also imported some packages and we created a class called snake game with having a constructor so constructor initializes everything so what it initializes it initializes it plays the background music it so here it plays the background music then we're using curses so why we use curses library curses will help us to take the input from the keyboard and also act accordingly and also we can use uh, some interactivity between the user and the system so we have here we created we set the color and we use the color for the window background and here we initialize it like we want to take the input from the keypad we created a window here and this is the initial movement of a snake should be towards right we define this default score and the snake coordinates so we have defined three coordinates so at those places the hash will appear initially when they start moving and here we have food which is randomly placed initially we place at specific location and then we try to place it randomly and here is a method random screen which try to display the score and also plot the food at a given specific position and do some interpolation for the boundaries and this is the main method which we call after creating an object so what it does so we have a loop with the while so the game will be continuously playing until you press the escape we keep updating the score and keep increasing the speed by decreasing the timeout and how we are decreasing the timeout by increasing a length of a factor by a factor of a length and here we took the previous key why we took the previous key because this is really important uh, so we can restore if somebody presses any other key while playing the game apart from the actual usage keys we want to retain the direction of a snake so that's what we does here if it is if the key is not in this then we try to retain it and here this is the logic of when user presses the space bar we want to pause the game right so one more thing you should do like when you're pausing the game we can stop the playing the background music but for now we are just playing it we are not performing any action on that and then here is a snake right so when the snake moves we try to update the coordinate of a snake so we increase the x or the y accordingly based on the movement if it is down or up so if it is down that means the y coordinate increases that because y coordinate we represent on the left in the list in curses similarly if we goes up then the y coordinate decreases and same thing happens for the left and the right and then we try to add validation so when a snake is moving right when you are actually building a head you want to validate something so what you want to validate if the snake hit any of the wall you want to break the break the loop and you want to exit from the game and by saying oh fuck so here we are using something called a system uh, a method on os class which take a function name which which actually this is a say is a method which define inside this library and then also the the arguments that we want to say and the snake hits the food then we want to randomly position the food and also increase the score by one so we try to find using with the help of random library we try to find the random coordinates and we plot it plot the character right 
once we plot it we want to play the sound of eating right and if it doesn't hit the food then what we want to do is we want to pop the tail right we want to pop the tail by replacing it with this empty that's what uh, i explain you so what we did is like basically with this i explained you so when we we remove the tail by replacing with the empty character and here we add the to the head we add this right so that's what we define the movement of snake and once the game is over we try to end the window and that's all so let's play this game so we'll do python main dot py so you can see the score is increases you can see the snake speed is also increasing so yeah yeah so now i hit the wall and the game gets over so this is all guys uh i try to explain you this let me know if you have any doubts if you want to uh understand if anything i miss while explaining this yeah and keep watching please like and subscribe to my channel and i'll be coming up with some more interesting projects in python and we'll be learning python along the way while building this project so thank you guys